welcome back everybody to wrestling bants this is my nxt review smash the subscribe button smash the like button let's do this let's go <laughs> this is great banter 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 the first match of the night featured two women who will be main eventing that is right main eventing night one of stand and deliver nxt takeover so if NXT can do it, why can't WWE? <coughs> Hashtag main event. Banks versus Bel Air. The match itself was pretty basic. You knew who should be going over. They did the right thing. Raquel Gonzalez got the win over Zoe Stark. Poor old Stark jobbing out basically in this match, eating the pin. Io Shirai, Raquel Gonzalez for the Women's NXT Championship. Night one, stand and deliver. Can't wait to see that one. Build for Cole and O'Reilly just keeps getting better and better. And this week was no different. I loved what they did at the beginning with um, Adam Cole storming into the Gracie gym where O'Reilly was training and tried to get into a brawl with O'Reilly. Got split up and... We saw what happened further on in the night. I will explain more later. See that coming. LA Knight losing to Bronson Reed. The geezer's been here for what? Two, three weeks? And you're already making him lose? That's it. He's done now. Losing to Bronson Reed. Now, uh, someone's got to be talking about how good Wade Barrett is as a colour commentator. Probably the only colour commentator in the WWE with any fucking personality. Legitimacy as well. He's actually been on the main roster, actually wrestled matches, actually won titles. Same goes for Beth Phoenix. I do enjoy both of them on the NXT brand. As for the play-by-play -play guy, he's just another Michael Cole clone. Sounds exactly the same as the Raw commentator. I can't tell you who's who, to be honest with you. I thought they were the same guy for a long time. Found out, no, they're not. God, if I know what his name is. Fortunately, due to the injury picked up by Danny Birch in the tag team title match last week, the tag team champions Birch and Lorcan have had to forfeit the titles. Therefore, we will be getting a triple threat match at Stand and Deliver with Legado Del Fantasma, MSK, GYV. Sounds like bloody alphabet -y spaghetti with these tag teams. Um, but yeah, that should be a decent match. I do like the Grizzle Jung veterans. Uh, watched them in progress for a long time. They were really good in there. Zach Gibson's a great heel. Soon! Number one. Love him. Um, hopefully, yeah, I'm going for the Grizzled Young Vets, man. Hopefully, they pick up the belts, man. They deserve it. Uh, Zach Gibson is a star in the making. Trust me. Trust me. So, Lorcan was on his own and he had to go against the man that injured Danny Birch. Carrying Cross, and it was a good match, hard hitting match, but it was very predictable who would be getting the win here. Cross is going up against Finn Balor for the title. He ain't losing to only Lorcan. Come on, behave. We've got a decent promo actually from Finn Balor afterwards, building up, hyping up this match. Finn looking like a stone cold killer, telling Cross that his emotions will get the better of him. Can't wait for this match. It is going to be a barn burner. It's going to be fucking awesome. Johnny Gorgano complaining about who he's facing at NXT Stand and Deliver. To be honest with you, I have no idea what's going on here. The match that Regal announced, we've got a battle royal, 12-man eliminator gauntlet, something. I have no I was lost after 12-man battle royal. I don't know who he's going to be facing, but it's obvious who it's probably going to be. There's a few guys there. You've got LA Knight who just lost to Bronson Reed. Bronson Reed, Pete Dunne, Roderick Strong, um, Kushida, Cameron Grimes. And you know, basically, it's going to be Dexter Loomis. The story has already been written. So I don't know why they're going around the houses with this. Dexter Loomis is getting a title shot, surely, at Stand and Deliver against Johnny Gargano. Poor old Drake Maverick. Poor old Drake Maverick, Spud, whatever you want to call him, getting squashed by Walter. Power slam, power bomb, game over. And then out comes Champa, and we're getting Champa versus Walter for the United Kingdom Championship 
at NXT stand and deliver. What have NXT UK not got anyone decent enough to face Walter now? We're getting Champa instead. Um, Walter rips off a necklace of Champers, and it's obviously something of importance to Champa because he loses his mind. And that's enough for Walter to say, yep, we're having a title match at NXT Stand and Deliver. But that match is going to be fucking awesome. And for me, is a contender to steal the show. Let me know what you think down below. Another very predictable women's match. This time it was a tag team title match. Uh, Moon and Shotzi defending their titles against Alia and Martinez. You know who's winning this one. Robert Stone is a clown. An absolute clown. Um, yeah. Decent enough women's tag team match. Uh, apart from when Aaliyah's just basically standing there looking at Ember Moon, waiting for her to hit her finisher. That looks stupid. Um, yeah, it wasn't for me, this match. Didn't really enjoy What it. I did enjoy was Cameron Grimes every week. He is fantastic now. Formerly known as Trevely, had no character whatsoever. Now this guy is amazing, isn't he? To the moon! The Shotzi and Ember's match wasn't bad enough. Afterwards, the um, confrontation with Candice and Indy made me just think these girls are just never going to be going back up to the main roster, especially Ember Moon. Don't be jelly. The main event match, the last match on the of the night for NXT was Jordan Devlin against Kushida and what a match it was. I really enjoyed this until Legado del Fantasma got themselves involved um, and Kushida lost the plot, man. After he got rolled up by Devlin, he just went berserk and attacked Mendoza and Wild and dove off the stage, taking them both out. Brilliant, loved that bit. And then we had... Both cruiserweight champions standing in the ring, looking at each other, facing off. We know these two will be facing each other to find out who will be the real undisputed cruiserweight champion. And then out of nowhere. Oh, Sean, I think I'm cute. I know I'm sexy. I've got the moves. That just drive the girls wow. That's right, HBK was in the house. Mr. WrestleMania himself. The showstopper. The heartbreak kid. Shawn Michaels comes down to the ring. And, well, we all knew where this was going, didn't we? WrestleMania 10. We all remember Madison Square Garden. Shawn Michaels, Razor Ramon. Two Intercontinental Champions. Ladder match, baby. Jordan Devlin, Santos Escobar. One on one. Ladder match, baby. For the NXT Cruiserweight Champion. Who will be the undisputed Cruiserweight Champion? So the show finished with a contract signing. How many contract signings do WWE need? Every other match has a contract signing. This one, pretty basic. Kyle O'Reilly sitting there. What is going on with his hair, man? What? Why a cowlick? What is that all about? Adam Cole loved his part in this. Kyle O'Reilly ne really needs to work on his talking. William Regal did a good job of selling it. Saying, bloody, get the bloody police involved. What's wrong with you lot? Um, loved that. It's going to be the co-main event of night two. Two had a pull-apart brawl at the end. It's going to be a good match, don't get me wrong. But I would have liked to see more stakes on the line, maybe. Maybe loser leaves NXT, something like that. Anyway, that was the end of the show. Like I said, it did hype up a lot of matches and build a lot of matches for NXT Stand and Deliver. I'm a lot more excited to see that show, the two-night show. Are you? Let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Again, please subscribe, like, comment, throw your Twitter handles down below and I'll go and follow them, your YouTube channel names, and I will go and sub to them. Thank you very much for watching. Big up everyone in the IWC. Big up all my subscribers. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.